Dr Megan Clark is CSIRO's chief executive and I spoke to her a short time ago. Dr Megan Clark, welcome to Late Line Business. Thank you, Suki. Why is this tie-up with GE so important? This, the, the relationship with GE and the alliance with GE focuses on a couple of the major challenges that we have for the future. And, uh, and that is cleaner technology for our future and as well improving the health and well-being of our communities. These are major challenges that we face in Australia, but we also face around the globe. And the alliance with GE will help CSRO make sure that we can deliver profound impact both here in Australia and at a global scale. Our young researchers will work with and learn from um, some of the 36,000 researchers and engineers in GE's research laboratories around the world. They're already uh, telling me that uh, in the five years that we've been working with GE, it's improved the way they deliver projects. Uh, I want to ask you about one particular area, and, and that is the clean coal and, clean, and, and coal gasification research. Uh, what sort of impact could that have uh, for industry? Well, we're very busy, of course, working on renewable technologies, but we all have a responsibility to make sure that our coal plants are as efficient as possible. And uh, one of the most... Um, important ways of uh, creating efficiency in a plant is making sure that the burners, the gasifiers, um, have dramatic improvements in efficiency and that's the focus of the work with GE. I want to ask you also about uh, SMEs and research. How much research and innovation actually happens with small and medium enterprises? What does CSIRO do about it? I think small to medium enterprises are, are always um, trying to find their competitive edge and competitive niche. So they are, by very nature, incredibly innovative in, in all aspects. Um, we work with industry players from all sizes, um, and the smallest uh, SME right through to organisations um, such as GE. So they're a vital part um, of CSIRO building brand new industries for Australia and making our industries competitive, um, both at a national and global scale. I see the government's got a, an R&D uh, tax bill tabled today, I think, um, for, for SMEs. Is that likely to make a, a difference? Because I think only about 8,000 of these enterprises actually ha have used that tax credit system thus far. Uh, look, I think any um, system that really addresses the issue of cash flow for a small uh, to medium-sized enterprise um, is an important one. Um, and so moving the, uh, the tax to a tax credit um, and allowing uh, businesses to have that vital tax flow, uh, the cash flow uh, when they're growing, I, I think is very important. Megan Clark, Urban Water is also a part of the GE research tie-up. Now, next week we have the, the big uh, Murray-Darling Basin Authority report coming down. Just how much of a national commitment do you think we have to research around water, given that land and water was axed, the CRC for irrigation futures is coming to an end. Does it concern you? We have a major investment in water, and you're absolutely right. Australia simply must be good um, at this area of innovation, and there's still so much to do. When you look at where a lot of our research um, dollar is being invested, it's still at, at documenting our, our resources, our river basins, understanding the flows, understanding the importance of groundwater. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do in, in this nation. That's really just the first steps. Uh, this particular alliance with GE uh, will address some of the urban water and, uh, and water recycling uh, issues. But it's a vital question for this country, uh, and it's one that we need to invest in. Do you think we need a centre for excellence for water research beyond CSIRO? Look, I think we need all the players, and CSRO works um, as a catalyst uh, for, for uh, researchers around the nation on some of these major um, efforts. Our work on the Murray-Darling, for example, brought together uh, 400 researchers, not just with CSIRO, but from other universities and other groups. CSIRO uh, is, is a global brand now in research. Uh, you've got, I think, over 450 licenses, over 150 earning royalties. The business of research for CSIRO is obviously critical, and government has made sure that, 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 you, you, uh, that you hear that loud and clear. Now, you said in a recent speech, CSIRO is sometimes difficult to deal with and sometimes impossible. And this was really around 
around the IP side. How is CSIRO changing here? Well, I must admit it was an absolute uh, uh, delight to hear um, the GE team say that in their five years of dealing with us that we have been an absolute pleasure to deal with. And but but they're is, a very big company. That, uh, but that, and I, that's the benchmark that we're setting for ourselves. Um, that's, uh, that's what we're asking each of our stakeholders, and we will not rest until our stakeholders and, uh, and the groups that we work with, whether they're small or large, reflect back to us that we're a pleasure to deal with. Dr. Meekin-Clark, I thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you very much.